guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and today I did a makeup routine. So this is kind of like an everyday makeup routine. You can wear this if you go to school, you can wear it on like a day-to-day -day basis, every other day type of thing. But yeah, it's a very light makeup look and it's super easy, super quick. I'll show you guys it more in the sunlight just because, oh wow, yeah, you can like really see now. Maybe this is too much sunlight. Anyway, if you guys want to achieve this really natural look, just keep on watching and I'll tell you guys how I got it. Before I start with my makeup, I'm gonna basically be using every product by Glossier, except some products obviously like aren't gonna be by Glossier. I'm gonna tie my hair back in a little low bun to get it out of my face. And then I need to check my makeup products too to see if they're old because I don't want them to like be breaking my face out. Six, you're supposed to keep this primer for six months. I've had this primer for so long. I swear, that's disgusting. I'm trying to be more, trying to be better with my makeup and re really see like what makeup is good and or not that I have. And all of my primers I've had for so long just cause like, since I never really wear makeup, I like never use my, I don't use my stuff on a day to day basis, so I don't go through it quick enough. But I did get this like little mini tester primer, and this is the only one that I have that isn't old. So I'm gonna use this. It's the Hourglass Veal Mineral Primer, oil free. It has sunscreen in it, that's good. SPF 15. But normally I never. Like normally I use, this is my favorite primer, Too Faced Hangover X primer. I love this one. And then this one, the Professional by Benefit. That one's good too, but those are disgustingly old that it like, I feel like it's been making my face break out. But I actually, since I got this little tester one in like a package of all this like skincare stuff that I got once, I've been using it just cause I wanted to like obviously try out new stuff. And I've been really, really liking it. And I didn't know that I had SPF in it because I always forget to put SPF on. Which like I'm trying to be better at, but like I always forget. Anyway, I really do like this primer because it, it's like the matte feeling. Like it feels like the professional one, but it also it's not as sticky as the professional one. Cause I feel like the professional one's like very thick and gross, but it like has that matte feeling and I don't want to stop rubbing it on my face. Like I just am literally putting more on because it feels so nice on my skin. Mm, I love this. So for today's makeup look, we are going for a very light look. This is gonna be more of like an everyday, day-to-day -day wear. And yeah. So if you guys want more of a, kind of like a look to wear when you go out, I guess. If you're like going to an event or like going out to dinner or like something like that or have like homecoming because I know at least for me I like always just wore like normal makeup to homecoming with like a little bit more but if you guys want more of like a going out type of makeup look let me know I could do one of those but today we're doing like an everyday one and yeah, that's the primer I use. Now I'm doing the Glossier Birthday Bomb.com Lip Balm. This stuff smells so good. Like, I'm gonna eat it. Oh my God, I'm keeping that out because I need to start eating that more. So I'm gonna go in since it's not summer anymore. I lost my tan officially. Someone commented on my video and was like, Emma, you're not you without your tan. And I was like, that honestly made me so sad, but I know, anyway. We're gonna go in with my Glossier Perfect Skin Tint and I have it in the shade G6. This is my summer shade. We're not that shade anymore, but we're gonna make it work. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna make that work. But anyway, since back to me not being tan anymore, I'm gonna put the skin tint on. And what I like about the skin tint is that it's a very, very light coverage. It's like the... Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer, except I feel like Laura Mercier's tinted moisturizer has a little bit more coverage in this. This is literally as sheer as you can get, and it gives you just enough cup, not like, I don't know, like you still see your freckles through it, 
but it gives you just enough to make your skin look one color i just love how beautiful it looks on my skin and it like is perfect you can build it up if you need you can do whatever but you know today we are going for that light everyday look hopefully okay so i put that on and now i am going in with the glossier stretch concealer also in this shade g6 and i'm just using my finger which i probably honestly should use a brush just to make it a little bit more sanitary but uh at least i washed my hands before this so we're good anyway i'm just putting it under my eyes covering up the dark circles from not sleeping weird thing that's been going on i talked about it in one of my vlogs but i haven't been sleeping not like i haven't been sleeping but i like have been going to bed at a no i haven't been able to fall asleep at all actually the only nights i can actually get a decent amount of sleep is if i like take melatonin or something which is so not good to do every night obviously so the nights that i don't i don't fall asleep and now i'm just going over any sort of like blemishes that i have that aren't covered by the skin tint but anyway yeah so i've been going to bed at weird times like it'll either be like two in the morning or nine at night or ten at night but i wake up so early in the morning so no matter what time i go to bed i my body just automatically will wake me up before my alarm and it will be like so early in the morning and this has happened to me literally every single day like one night i went to bed at two and i woke up at seven what it just is so crazy to me and i don't know how to like stop with this because clearly i don't want to be doing that like i don't want to go to bed so late and like not have a good day the next day you know so we're gonna try to get over that but it's kind of hard anyway i just put my face on so we're good with that and now before i put on my powder to set it i am gonna do my cloud paint just because this stuff is liquid at first and i feel like when i put it over the powder it doesn't it like just goes in like one spot and it doesn't move out that's just me though i don't know if that happens to anyone else but this is the glossier cloud paint in the shade theme and when i was at glossier we had like a private tour which was so cool we got to go to the headquarters and do all this stuff and it was so fun and the guy that was working super super nice he had the best skin ever he said to me because i was like i want to try the cloud paint i have never tried it out before and i really want to try it out and i was like what color would look best on me and he was like walk over to it and tell me your favorite one first and then i'll let you know and i was like okay so i like he was like whatever one catches your eye so i look down and i'm like "Ooh, this one oh, clearly because it's like my favorite color it's like this one catches my eye and he was like that's the one that will look best on you now I'm going in to set all of, mostly I'm focusing on where I put concealer, but I'm using the Wonder, Wowder, the Wowder powder, and I use the shade G5 to G7. It makes you look like when you use the shade that goes with what you're wearing, I truly think it makes your skin look even more flawless because instead of it just being like a translucent powder it adds a little bit of something to it so you're just like it's basically like a powder foundation on top of a skin tint that's how i look at it but really like this isn't powder foundation this is just like setting powder so next we are gonna go what should we do next should we do a little bit of a bronze i guess i do have to bronze today since i don't match my neck so we're gonna go in with a little bit of a bronzer this bronzer is probably old it doesn't say when i should use it by so whatever i guess i'm just gonna have to go for it my hula bronzer by benefit that stuff is 
my holy grail. Whoa. So first I'm starting out and I'm dabbling some on my neck. Just to add some color to my neck since my face looks so tan. If you guys saw me in real life right now, you'd be like, girlfriend, you need to tone it down a bit. And I'd be like, thanks, I know. And then I'm going in with my, this is a contour, angled contour brush by Vanity Planet. Vanity Planet actually just sent me a new brush set. I'm so excited I haven't opened it yet. So when I do open it, I can't wait to have a new brush set because I love their brushes. It was just a little bit of bronzer. Love a good bronze face. Okay, so that's basically it. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of boy brow. And maybe I'll put a dabble of mascara. So next we're gonna go in with my boy brow. I just have the clear one because my eyebrows are so dark that I don't need any more color. I really want them lightened because I feel like they're almost too dark for my face. So I'm just like brushing them up basically and then going back and getting the ones that are like too up and brushing them down. Because personally I like smaller eyebrows and people always comment about my eyebrows and they're like your eyebrows are too thin i like when they're thick but i like them when they're thin not when they're thick so. putting the boy brow away and now i'm going in with the glossier brow flick this thing's amazing it literally makes like it fills in your eyebrows without it looking like you just painted them on it just like fills in like pieces of hair I'm just going into little areas that are like very sparse. I do have a lot of areas that are sparse, which is so unfortunate for me. And now I'm gonna do this eyebrow. Okay, so yeah, I just slightly fill them in. I'll add a little bit of highlight, I guess, just because we're here, we might as well do some so i'm gonna take my by far favorite highlighter this is the Too faced love light ray of light highlighter and i'm gonna just do like a tiny tiny bit okay cool and now i'm gonna set it with my cap on d lock it spray and I don't really want to add mascara just because this looks so natural but the Glossier mascara the lash slick mascara is the best mascara in the whole entire world I swear I love it I'll put some on for you guys just so you can see how it is but I just like to do a tiny tiny bit mostly on the tips of my eyelashes since they are so sparse at the end not sparse but like very light at the end I need to get them tinted again. I got them tinted once and it was probably the best thing I've ever done because I they're already so long that the lift like made them basically touch my eyebrows. <laughs> but a lash tint just kind of lets the blonde pieces at the tips of your eyelashes be dark obviously. So they look longer and that's like a problem I have is that guys I swear look at your eyelashes in the mirror as close as you can and they will be so blonde on the end you'll be like whoa like I actually do have really long eyelashes because I have so many friends who are like my eyelashes are so short but I was and then I'm like no just look at them closely and you'll see how long your natural eyelashes just get them tinted and you will be set for life so a tint basically adds like a little bit of mascara look to your eyes and it adds like a nice touch which i really really enjoy anyway that is my full makeup look so if you guys enjoyed this type of video let me know in the comments below if you guys liked it also let me know any type of videos you guys want to see next if there's any sort of makeup look you want to see like more of a better heavier one for if you're like going out on a date or like going out to dinner or something like that let me know what you guys want to see. This was more of a typical like everyday, if you want to go to school type of thing. Glossier makeup is probably my favorite makeup because it makes you feel like you're not wearing any and it's so light on your face that it just feels so nice and refreshing. 
But yeah, so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.